stuff. Huh? It's just a great movie. An essential. <laughs> Wonderful movie that is, absolutely Incredible. wonderful, and such a good supporting cast. We didn't talk about going into it, but Lee, Lee Grant, Grant and Warren Oates, and yeah. Larry Gates, that wonderful actor that Sidney Poitier slaps at one scene, and I understand that was unexpected. I mean, Sidney Poitier decided that he wasn't going to stand, to, down. To stand down without slapping him back, but they didn't tell Larry Gates about that, so that came as a shock to him when that happened and the cameras were rolling, and it's such a great, honest moment. That's the best thing an actor can do for another actor is not tell them what's going to happen because the reaction is right. so much better. Yeah, and powerful scene. Yes, you very know, powerful, really. incredibly conflicting, amazing. I, I feel like the whole film leads up to that moment and then continues on after that. It's, I think, one of the crux, uh, cruxes yes. of the film. Yes, and this was a great year for him because he not only had this movie but also Guess Who's Coming to Dinner yep. and To Serve With Love. Yeah, all three. You know, three blockbusters. Yeah, it's so a good year for him. And he had won a few years earlier. For the release of the field. But he wasn't even nominated this year. Right, but it was a tough year. This was a year of Cool Hand Luke, so you had Paul Newman. This was the year of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, so you had Spencer Tracy. Dustin Hoffman, Dustin Hoffman in The Graduate. Graduate. Yes. Warren Beatty for Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. I mean, if there ever was a year, yeah. it blows my mind. I can't think of a year where you had so many iconic, amazing performances by some of the most important actors who have that type of body of work. Warren Beatty, Paul Newman, Dustin Hoffman, Spencer Tracy, they're, it's like they've done so many films, so many iconic characters, but these were some of their best. Right. What a year. Yeah, and a transitional year really for Hollywood, and books have been written about that, is that here you've got the five nominees that year were, were uh, Dr. Doolittle, which was really kind of an old-fashioned mm -hmm. movie. You've got Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, was, which is kind of a an old-fashioned movie with some new ideas to it. Yep. You've got something like The Graduate that was really a new, whole band, brand new thing. You've got Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde that was terribly daring. Yep. And uh, ch kind of changed the face of films. It really did. Forever After, and you've also got In the Heat of the Night, which you know is again new ideas and stuff with kind of an old-fashioned detective story yep. mixed in. So it was uh, interesting because these two Hollywoods kind of came together and melded from then on. I think that time um, in Hollywood is just one of the most interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the most groundbreaking and important films ever made. I mean, just, it, it was such a rich, amazing time with such incredible films going on. And again, I congratulate Norman Jewison for his direction of this movie. Absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Here's a sneak preview of the film we have for you next time on The Essentials. Stella Dallas, 1937. Barbara Stanwyck apparently always said that this was her favorite role. The supporting cast in this movie is superb. <laughs> this is a classic story that taps into something on a very real level. If you're gonna see one version of this story, this one is it. From 1937, Stella Dallas. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Norman Jewison paints the New England coast red with The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming. Then Jewison raises the stakes for Steve McQueen, The Cincinnati Kid. And the TCM Underground is seduced by The Doll Squad. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Every day, Turner Classic Movies brings you the greatest films from Hollywood and around the world. And the best way to keep up with what's on is the TCM Now Playing Guide. Every month, this terrific magazine takes you inside TCM with a complete listing of all the films on that month's schedule. You also learn what each movie is about, who stars in it, who directed it, and more. Plus, every issue features a cover story I write about the star of the month. This 48-page guide offers a wealth of feature articles on our acclaimed festivals and tributes, including top picks from director Martin Scorsese and TCM's Ben Mankiewicz. Plus, you'll find an enhanced at-a-glance section that lists the programming themes we present throughout the day and into prime time. There's also a challenging crossword puzzle to test your movie knowledge and much more. 
The TCM Now Playing Guide. Get 12 issues for only $13.99. Order now at tcm.com slash now playing or call 1-800-TCM-1002.